What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku. As well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. On the Boss Man Show, going to Columbia, South Carolina, I talk to our university's new head football coach, Country Pro on the Boss Man Show. Coach Pearl, good to talk to you, man. How things over there at Columbia this morning, brother? Everything going great, man. We got some great weather. Everybody getting ready for the 4th of July, so uh, it's, it's great. I hear that, Coach. Tell me about it, man. How I feel to be back in that head coaching seat, man, and our universities are on the rise. Uh, got a lot of new coaches over there at, at Allen now. We're on the Jasher's leadership, man. So how cool you be the part of AU University up, up rising and, and coming up here over there, man? Well, it feels good, man. I'm thankful for the opportunity that uh, President McNeely and uh, Jasher Car- AD Cox gave me to, uh, to be a head coach again. So I'm really excited about the season. And I can't wait to get started. Spring ball. Uh, was a success in our eyes. Uh, so, uh, you know, just getting prepared. The kids come in July 31st. So the juice is starting to flow and, and just getting ready, man. It's an old saying in football. Once July 4th hit, it's football season. No, nah, you already know, Coach. You already know it is. It's time to get in camp mode for sure. And, hey, Coach, man, uh, this spring, uh, talk about trying to get these young men to buy into you and your staff's uh, way of doing things, teach them how to how you want them to practice, how you want them to go about being a, a student in the community as well, going to class, off the field, study hustle, how to work out. So how was it getting you guys to buy into how you want things done this, this spring, Coach? Well, that, that's the number one goal when you come in as a new coach and a new at a new university. Uh, especially now with the transfer portal, the first thing you have to do is, is embrace everybody that's currently still there. Uh, we walked into a situation where it was like 20 plus guys that got in the portal. That's just a day game. Uh, no issue at all. Uh, but, you know, anytime you got to get used to a new way of doing things and, a, and new terminology and a new philosophy, it always takes a, a, a little time. Uh, but the kids bought in and uh, by the end of spring ball, Everybody was on the same page, and uh, that was that was a really good thing. It was a really good bright spot and sign uh, that we headed in the right direction. 
No doubt, Coach Pearl, man, when you go into the – I I, I call it speed aid now, Coach Pearl, with the the portal, man, trying to figure out a young man's motives. Does it really want to be a part of something? Was it because of – you never know what a man, young man's motive is. So so how has it been trying to, you know, get these young men fast, in a speed aid fashion, to see if they actually do fit what you're trying to build for the the core values of your your program? Well, the first thing you want to do is try to get them on campus and a visit. Um, The assistant coaches do a good job of reaching out to them and recruiting them and getting to know them. And then once they come on campus, uh, we sit down in my office along with them and their parents, and I just kind of lay it out, how, how things are here under under my regime uh, as a head coach and the way things are going to be. And uh, that's the conversation we have with the, with the young man and his parents. And and we are, and I always ask before they leave, is that something you think you want to be a part of? So this is the way we're going to operate. And um, it's been going well. Uh, we we bringing in about 40 to 50 kids. Uh, so to replace the roster, to rebuild the roster uh, from last year. So uh, that's pretty much the way it goes uh, nowadays uh, with, with the re- re- transfer portal. Uh, you pretty much uh, have to get all the information that you can on why they transfer. You have to have that conversation uh, with the young man. And, and if you feel like you got all of the answers that you agree with, then you move forward and offer them a scholarship and try to bring them into your program. And Coach Pearl, with the, the, the new environment, do you want to still do have a lot of high school guys? Or you want to kind of maybe go JUCO and establish guys within the portal, kind of stay, stay old and have guys who know who experience don't know what they're doing. Do you, or do you want to kind of mix a little all of it, a little bit of all of it together? Well, I believe in a mix, a mixture, and that's pretty much what we did during our recruiting process uh, because there's still some great talent in high school. Uh, the, the bottom line is those guys are going to be young, but now with the transfer portal, Division Two. Uh, could really get some guys that were uh, FCS uh, level type recruits and talented. So it's really a plus uh, initially to the smaller school division two program. And um, that's the reason why we targeted some high, great high school football players. But at the same time, you know, with everyone else bringing in older guys, we have to, we have to do the same thing too, to make sure we're on pace with everybody else and trying to build a program the right way. So I, be, I believe in a mixture of a high school and transfer form too. No doubt. And Coach Pearl, for the, for any young man listening to this interview in Atlanta and beyond who think about coming to Allen University, um, what are you looking for in a young man on and off the field to be a part of your program that they can really fit the vision you have for this thing that you're building here at Allen? Well, we look for kids that are, number one, that are outstanding in the classroom and on the field. Uh, the easiest thing to see is a young man's talent on the field. Uh, anybody can see that, that, you know, that buys a ticket and goes to his high school game. You can see that the kid is a great, great athlete. But the other part, too, he to be looking for great people, uh, good character, uh, because the coaches are not always around. Your parents are definitely not around once you come to college. Uh, so those values that they instilled in you uh, as a young man, you have to bring those with you. And we just going to reinforce those uh, once you get here. But we, we look for those kind of people, uh, good students, uh, great people and uh, want to be a part of a team and function as one and, and uh, want to win and graduate because that's what this thing is all about. You, you know, it's only like 1% of these guys are going to go to the NFL at that, uh, but the thing that you can control is getting your college degree, and that's what this is all about. It kind of changes your life and the trajectory of which way you can go and give yourself more options. No doubt, Coach Pearl, like I said, I'm an example of it. You know, it wasn't in my cards, but late. Like, I still near the game in the, on the media side now, you know, got a degree in business. I'm, uh, I'm a modern entrepreneurship and psychology. So I'm using my degree right now and I'm, and I make my own way. Cause you know, if I don't interview people, I don't eat. So <laughs> I'm putting my whole thing. I understand. So, and that's, and that's the reason why, you know, that's the main purpose of going to college. I understand what all the NIL stuff, all that stuff is attractive. And it sounds great, you know, on all the talk shows. And, and for the guys that are able to get the big deals, you know, my hat's off to them. I wish I could have got a million-dollar deal when I was in college. However, that's not the truth for uh, everyone that you see on your TV screen playing college athletics. Uh, you know, some of the offensive linemen, defensive linemen, those guys are, even though they're making a, a few thousand dollars, uh, you know, how long is that going to last? Uh, you know, so th- that kind of money is not going to last you a lifetime. So you still need – a degree because that whistle is going to stop blowing one day for all of them. No doubt. And Coach Pearl, you, your guys on a great area that's growing. It's Columbus, South Carolina, you're out from Charlotte, another city that's growing. So talk about the opportunities your young men have off the field for internships and networking opportunities in the area you're in as booming in Bremen as, as it grows and expands. 
Yeah, funny uh, you said that. Bowen has um, has moved into South Carolina and has uh, one of our big partners here at Allen University. So, uh, and then being close to Atlanta, that, that's the thing about Columbia that I really like. It's centrally located to Atlanta, Charlotte, uh, like you said, Spartanburg, Charleston, Greenville. So, and there are major companies around here that our kids will have the opportunity to internship. So once they graduate, you, you know, you can have a job in London. Uh, and, um, you know, again, those are some of the things that we preach. Uh, along with going to graduate school, because that, that's another reality. If your grades are at a certain point when you graduate from college, you can go to grad school for free. You know, so those are the kind of things that we try to push and encourage. And yes, yeah, we for those guys that uh, that are that talented, yes, we we love for all of them to go to the NFL. That's the best temporary job in America. And you heard what I said, temporary, because you can't. The average player plays three and a half years, so uh, that's that's a great. Field, to get a jump start financially to make yourself secure for a lifetime. However, that's a small percentage. It's like playing the lottery. You, you know, not everybody wins, even though everybody plays. Uh, so, again, our number one focus here is to make sure these young men graduate and win a championship before they leave. And Coach Pro, you said something good about being centrally located. You can get you on getting a car 250 miles and find all the talent you need in the world to exactly. come to the university because of where you're at. You can get that car. Spread out, hey, we we got talent to bring in. Hey, can help us win. <laughs> no doubt about it. Between Atlanta and, and the whole state of South Carolina, um, and from my understanding, we're not really far from uh, the Florida line. Uh, you know, that's enough in itself. Uh, you, you know, you can definitely find talent uh, between Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida, uh, and we're right in the area where we can touch all of those, in North Carolina, where we can touch all those states uh, within three, four hours. No doubt, Coach. And Coach, man, for you, man, uh, Looking at this opportunity, SIEC, talk, talk, talk about how it's grown and gotten better over the years. Uh, the SIEC has, has gotten better. Talent's gotten better. Coaching's gotten better. So talk about that as a league. People need to really, really, really look at the SIEC for football and see is some talent down there, some great coaching, and it's some high-quality football. Well, it's always been uh, high-quality football, but this league has grown since I was a player in it in 1987. Uh, I remember playing games live on BET, and I know people were like, whoa, coach. Yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but now uh, with uh, the SIC being the only Division II conference uh, in America with a contract with ESPN, you know, all of our uh, member schools get a chance to play uh, live on ESPN Plus, which is a benefit, which only acts as a uh, recruiting tool for every institution in the conference. Uh, we have a conference full of great coaches. Uh, that are that are in this league and the, and the atmosphere is in the SIEC uh, second to none, man. I've, um, you, you know, you go on the road and uh, you go into some hostile environments as you should. Uh, there should be a home field advantage uh, when you go into somebody else's place and 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 people coming into our place. You know, we want our fans to be uh, rowdy and, and 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 respectful and cheering us on to uh, beat our opponents. But uh, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, you have a TV contract. And uh, we got some really great coaches and talented players and that, that some get a chance to go on to the next level. And over the years, they have, you know. So uh, it's a great league to play in, especially if you're going to play Division II football. Uh, I, I wouldn't uh, concede myself in any other team. No, I hear that, Coach. And I was lucky. Growing up on the west side of Atlanta, being able to walk down the street to, to Clark and Morehouse and get to, get to enjoy that on Saturdays, man, was cool for me, man. So I guess I got that bug forward early. And uh, – it's, it, Coach, what about that, man, for a young man, HBC experience for a young man? I said, I went to Tennessee State, and I'm happy I went there. I went traded for the world. You know, I had a great time up there. Got, got a, lot of friend, a lot of friends and friends up there, still a lot of people who care about me up there, who looked after me. Talk about that part of the HBCU school to help young black men and, and give them that opportunity to jump start them. A lot of like me came from a rough environment, got a degree. Now I'm taking take the opportunity and, and ran with it. And have to be able to do that for a lot of young black men come to your program who can just be great assets to our society going to HBCU school that, that want to mentor them and point them in the right direction with, with the great guidance that you all give us. Man, that's the great thing about this coaching um, profession is the phone calls you get 10, 15 years later. Uh, it's funny you ask me that. I was just on the phone with my offensive line coach before this interview uh, that coached me at Tuskegee University. We still have a relationship to this day. Uh, my defensive line coach that was at Tuskegee University at that time is my assistant head coach on the staff here. Uh, so the, the, the HBCU level, um, the networking, the family atmosphere, uh, it's second to none, man. And uh, these are relationships you'll have from a, for a lifetime, uh, whether you're a coach or, or, or your teammates. Uh, 
you know, some of my teammates have gone on to do bigger and, and better things. Uh, and um, we still talk to this day. Uh, so if I, if I need something, I can reach out to anybody uh, around this United States and uh, possibly get some assistance. But that doesn't, doesn't like the friendship and the networking uh, and the fellowship in, uh, in HBCU sports. Um, uh, again, second to none. Because let me ask you some about yourself, man. At what point in your career uh, playing wise you decided you want to get into coaching? I know my dad was a coach, but I didn't choose to be a coach like my dad. But I saw how I did, way how, how he had stress on him, and but he loved it though. So for you, what uh, what kind of trick you want to get into coaching, and when did you decide you want to be a coach? Well, actually, we were just talking about that relationship. Uh, my offensive coordinator uh, became the new head coach at Tuskegee after I graduated. And uh, I was working at United Methodist Children's Home uh, in Salem, Alabama. I'll never forget this. And he called me uh, one late night about 10 o'clock and, this, and asked me, Pearl, you want to get your master's degree in coach football? I said, yeah, coach, where? He was like, I'm about to accept the head job at, at your school, Tuskegee University. I want to bring you on as an offensive grad assistant. And I was like, oh, when do I need to be there? Because uh, I always wanted to get my master's degree, but I, I got a chance to get it for free uh, by being a grad assistant. So that's how I got him in coaching back in 93, the great Haney Kittens. Uh, he, he's no longer with us now, but that was one of my mentors. And he got me in this game. And uh, uh, really, uh, along with some of my other coaches, uh, my my head coach that I played for, James A., James A., Big Jim Martin, uh, those guys were big influences in me becoming a football coach. And uh, um, I can't see myself doing anything else, man. I love working with young people. Love seeing them, you know, taking them from – uh, this raw mold of clay when they first come to walk through the door and seeing them mature and grow up into the adults that a lot of them have become now, man. That's that's the biggest thing. Like I said, those phone calls you get back now and these guys are married. I call them kids, but some of them 40 years old, uh, JR. <laughs> they, got, they got kids, they got wives, uh, they got their own, some of them on their own businesses and all that kind of stuff. But they'll still be kids to me, uh, not in a disrespectful way, just like I told you, I just got off the phone with my old line coach. He, he talked to me the same way I was when I was 18. So, yes. <laughs> so uh, but uh, I lean on him a lot. And uh, uh, so that's, you know, those are some of the things, man. Those are some of the things that we look forward to. Yeah, Coach Pearl, like when I call Rod Reed or L.C. Cole or Johnny Cole, hey, trust me, I get those same talks. Like, you sure you want to do that? Are you, are you right. sure? Are you sure? Right. But, but it's because they still, they still, they, they still love and care for me, man. After all these years, man. So, like I said, shout out to them, those guys who helped molded me, man. I, I was called father coach, four years old, Tennessee State going to basketball camp, meeting Anthony Mason, a, a newer Nick player who played for, the, for Tennessee State. That inspired me. Too, as a four year old. Right, meeting him and Carlos Rogers, and they took an interest in a four year old. You know what I'm saying? They never forgot that from a four year old. So just that whole environment, HBCUs and that family environment, man, it's, it's, you can't beat it, man. And I, I love it. I know we have our struggles with finances and resources, but but everything else, man, about the family environment, the, the community, and the true love of each other, man, it's one of a kind, coach. Yeah, and and you know everywhere there, there's struggles, so. You know, you have to take the good with the bad, but uh, that's 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 life. No doubt. And coach, I I probably will see you uh the September seventh at Clark Atlanta. Uh, you know, uh, you know, LC Cole's defense coordinator now with Coach Keaton over right. there at Clark. So <laughs> I'm as neutral as I can because I like both of you, man. <laughs> well, that's fine, coach. That's fine. I think it's gonna be a, a great ball. <laughs> I look forward to it too. Yeah, it's, hey, because as I said, I said, I like Alex, I like y'all too. I got relationships with both schools, but I got to, I'm going to be neutral so I can't. I'm hey, it's a win-win win for you, coach. It's a win-win, man. That's yeah, true. hey, coach, what I'm do is, I'm going to come with Tennessee, Tennessee State gear. I can't lose. <laughs> can't lose. There you go. You come in blue and white, you're going to be all right. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Coach Pearl, it's been great to have you on the show, man. Look forward to doing what you're going for, man. And the way I can help your program, and I'm, I'm open to doing it. Like I told y'all, man, man, I, I got listen with Jasper and Sean as well. So, guys, your colleagues there. And so, anything I can do to help at this university, you need me to come out to do, do, do a live a live event or whatever, anything I can do to help you, let me know, Coach Pearl. I definitely will, man. I really appreciate you taking time to um, highlight our program here at Allen University, man. And uh, uh, we're looking forward to the season, too, man. Uh, you know, like I always say, uh, we, we, we're ready. We're ready to go. It's time to swarm. So, let's swarm.
Yes, sir. Folks, it's Allie versus New Football Coach Central Pro from the Boss Man Show. So we'll see him in Atlanta September 7th over at CAU. Let's get out there to support both programs. Coach Pearl, thank you for your time. It was, it was so fun today, brother. Thank you. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z, sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker dot com backslash bs3 network you are now tuned to bs3 network what's up good people bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs the latest odds lines and matchup reports for baseball boxing golf and more bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your Radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.